Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to discuss a very, very important topic for all the job seekers. There has been multiple people who have been telling us that they have not been receiving calls. They have not been receiving any of the interviews in so long time. Now, there can be multiple reasons behind that. What are the tech skill set that you have in included in your resume? How content you have kept in your resume so in a nutshell we will be discussing about ats friendly resume in this particular video and at the end of the video i'll be also telling you about what are the tips and tricks to get your cv selected and before that let me also share one product with you so this is an ats friendly resume template itself that we have been working on and this it is a digital product so when you will purchase this product you will get couple of resume templates for test automation engineers for sdet for qa automation which you can include not only that but using this particular resume template few of my subscribers have also got the calls from multiple companies including big names like apple itself so it becomes very important that you should be able to include the proper formatting, the proper content, the keywords are very important in the ATS friendly resume template. And now when, when I'm telling that you have to use this template, then it doesn't mean that if there is a manual testing job, still you will continue to use this template. See, depending on the job descriptions, depending on the requirement, at times you have to update your CV. It might happen that you might be able to apply seven out of 10 jobs looking into this particular resume template but if they are looking for functional testing if they are looking for performance testing if they are looking for security testing then you will have to update your resume this is important for those who are actually experienced and who are working in test automation fields so this is for experienced people and let me share a few tips and tricks also with you because as soon as we will be covering these tips and tricks you will come to know that yes this thing i have not taken care in my resume this is the thing that i should be taking care going forward so you don't have to worry about all these things all these things have been taken care in the template itself see creating an ats friendly resume it's very important many a times people write too much of description in their project what their project is about what their uh, domain is about and what all things, what are the functionalities in their project that itself will cover half of their page and overall the length of their resume would be up to four to five pages. Then it becomes very difficult for a recruiter or for a hiring manager to screen that CV. So generally what happens is you have this kind of systems applicant tracking system. The recruiters won't be screening all the CVs. They will be running this applicant tracking system and whichever the CVs that gets the highest match score, for example, you get 75 or 80 plus score out of 100, then your resume chances are more to get them shortlisted. Ultimately, what happens is people get demotivated once they don't get interview calls, but there can be multiple reasons why you are not getting interview calls. There can be n number of things behind that. And one of the critical thing that we are going to discuss today is about this ATS friendly resume. So few of the tips that I like to give you here is you have to use a very simple layout. Many a times people do introduce a lot of graphics, a lot of designing into those things. And ultimately what happens, the resume, it gives a lot of headache into the eyes into the uh, into the eyes of the recruiter when anyone is going through that resume he feels oh my god i'm seriously doing a very difficult job today so you have to keep the content very simple the graphics very simple no need to use fancy designs right you are not creating a profile for your instagram or for your facebook you are working for a professional resume right so that you can do then what what else is required is common headings so few of the common headings like work experience education skills certifications very very important many of the people they don't have certifications kind of section itself in their resume and then you will wonder why you are not getting calls there are a few keywords that also we will be covering which are very important you have to go with the bullet points don't write paragraph kind of things 
sometimes you know people do write a lot of paragraph things and yes coming to that project experience recently i went through one of the resume template uh, resume itself in which uh, the whole project functionality was written man are you looking to sell yourself in an interview or you you are looking to sell your project to the another companies you don't have to reveal everything in the project what they are interested is what is your contribution in the project not what your project does yes the domain will play a very important role so domain is very important so you have to include those things then you have to use plain text you have to avoid special characters like you know ampersand then percentage percentage in the sense of education is fine percentage if you can tell what test coverage if you have increased that is good but other special characters like hash is there right or this curly braces is there that are used in programming that you should avoid submit your resume as a dot docx or a dot pdf file and generally people will prefer pdf format because that is professional now with respect to technical skills as a software tester who is having automation experience what all things they should keep so with respect to automation you can see selenium that is web automation you can include playwright you can include cypress you can include j unit see if you see the order as well why i have kept cypress after selenium so you can pause this video and you can take a guess why i have kept catalon studio after selenium because see the demand of selenium is more compared to other tools yes see cypress playwright these things are in demand i'm not trying to fool you here but i'm telling you the real facts selenium is having more demand so keep it ahead you know selenium keep it ahead you know apm keep it ahead okay then cypress playwright these things are there in the market the people are looking forward to these particular tools but as of now as of now as of 2024 27th of june 2024 the jobs related to cypress related to uh, uh this uh catalon studio or playwright it is less as of now still people are looking towards selenium itself programming languages java python c sharp whichever programming language you know that you should write cicd tools version control test management bug tracking tools api testing performance testing these things are important so if you know the basics then you can include if you have worked real time then you should include selenium and all these tools but if you haven't included if you haven't worked on these things real time then at the time of when you are being asked the question you can tell so you can take a name of uh, the interviewer itself don't tell, tell them sir or ma'am just tell id actually i have gone through the basics as of now i haven't got an opportunity to work real time on it but maybe if you want to have any kind of a basic kind of conversation i would be happy to answer and also i would be looking forward to work on these particular tools in the upcoming projects in your company show some positive attitude when you are dealing with such things now comes methodologies and frameworks so frameworks is very important you have to include these particular things in your cv with respect to frameworks you have bdd data driven testing keyword driven testing hybrid framework these frameworks are in demand you should be if you have worked on these frameworks then you should be able to include them in your cv you should be able you should be including them because see from frameworks your interviews would start so your resume should include all these details which framework you have worked again i am not telling you to include all the frameworks but any one of these frameworks development methodologies agile scrum kanban waterfall devops ci cd which are the different tools that you have already included here as well ci cd tools right so that is important soft skills also you have to write relevant experience see here i have written few of the lines with respect to relevant experience but you have to include some kind of percentage some kind of data in your resume that will make your resume worth sharing because if you'll just write yes i am designing scripts using automation yes i am working on selenium that is not going to help you today you have to write how much test coverage did you got by doing that automation maybe 20 percent maybe 30 percent again don't write the percentage with 
which you are not able to justify itself in your in your interview okay so in the resume template that i was showing you earlier you will get all these kind of data so let me share that template link also so i'll be putting this template link in the description of this video in the comment section as well you can have a look at the resume template it has got the percentage of the data which actually the companies are looking forward how much x percentage of the coverage how much x percentage of the automation what contribution did you make with respect to data with respect to numbers your profile should be able to speak it up it becomes very important because see now the job market has opened so your resume your profile should be looking forward it, sh it should be different it should be something that the people should be able to qualify you for the next round people should shortlist your profile for the next round and that would happen only when you include some kind of data you include some kind of numbers you quantify the achievements in your resume that is very important because everyone will be working on selenium everyone would be working on automation but very few would be able to reveal those things that are required so it becomes very important that you quantify these things in your resume and that thing has been taken care in this particular template and if you'll purchase this digital product you will get two resume templates one resume template is of two pages one resume template is of one page you have to update you have to keep both of your resume templates with you at times what happens is when you are applying for SDET roles, then two pages resume is good. If you are applying for automation roles, then one or two pages, any one of them is good. Sometimes when you are sharing one page, then they might ask you more details. Yes, I need two pages. So send that two pages resume template to them. Sometimes you might share two pages resume template. They might tell, no, no, just keep it one page. You can do that as well. So it depends on how the recruitment or how which all the companies you are applying and how is the process there so that's why two templates i have in included in this particular digital product so that's it for this video and this particular pr price is available for a discounted rate so it would be available for the first 50 people who would be availing this particular template thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates